everyone, this is Heather. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm really excited to be taking part in another Save the Crafty YouTuber hop. I want to start off by thanking Justine and all the sponsors for all their hard work. As you move along the hop, there are prizes available at every stop. Mine is two ink pads from Katherine Pooler, and I'd really like to thank them for supplying that. So be sure to leave likes, leave a comment to be entered to win prizes, and consider subscribing to the channel. In your comment, please note if you're a U.S. or international watcher, your comments are due by April 5th. For my card today, we're going to be making this fun little card with some gnomes getting ready for Easter. I'm using stamps and dies from one of our sponsors, Heffy Doodle. This is their Gnome Matter What stamp set, and I'm also using the coordinating dies. From Hello Bluebird, I'm using their Spring Gathering stamp set and coordinating dies. And I'm also using the Treehouse die from Hello Bluebird as well. My cardstock base is a piece of light blue cardstock, 8.5 by 11, just cut, scored, folded in half. I've cut my Treehouse die out three times. Once from pink, and I kept just the frame. Once from a light green, I kept just the bottom grass area. And once from tan, and I kept the actual tree. The treehouse die has lots of cute little embellishments around the windows and doors. So from blue cardstock, I've cut the little shutters. From pink, I've cut the borders around the door and the windows and the little flower box. I've also cut the stone path twice from gray cardstock. I wanted to add some realistic wood grain to the tree house, so I have a wood grain embossing folder from Tim Holtz. I'm going to place my tree house inside the die, close it up, and run that through my die cutting machine. I also want to go ahead and add the gray stones for the walkway up to the tree. So on the piece that I die cut from the green, I'm going to use some washi tape and tape the stones in place. I'm going to die cut that and then I'm going to move them down a little bit and die cut them again. Here's a tree house after I've added the texture and I wanted to point out one of the really fun things about this die is that the door opens up. So it's a really cute little interactive element that you can add with somebody behind the door. And here's my stone path. I've set my die cuts aside for now and I've gone ahead and stamped out all my images with Memento Black ink on 110 pound weight white cardstock. The bottom row and the flowers are from the Heffy Doodle stamp set and the other little accents are from the Hello Bluebird set. Today I'm going to be using Triblend markers from Spectrum Noir to color in all my images. These markers contain three shades of the same color and make for really quick and easy blending. I've started out on one of the gnome's hats with the lightest shade of the coral blend. I'm going in with the darker shade and add some shading and shadowing. I'm moving on to the mid-tone and I'm going to overcolor between the darkest and the lightest just a little and then go back to the lighter shade and blend that in. If you're not familiar with these markers, I have quite a few videos using them on my channel and I do have a product review that goes very in depth with those. I feel like I need a little bit more of the darker shade. I want a little bit more shadow so I'm going to add that in. I'm moving on to the ice blue blend. I'm coloring in his shirt. I'm going to avoid the belt. With the lightest color laid down, I'm moving on to the darker tone. Sometimes on really small spaces, I will only use the light and the dark. It can get a little difficult to get into really small spaces if you use all three colors. So for these little areas, I'm just going to use the lightest and the darkest and blend those in together. For his beard and belt, I'm using gray-brown blend. I'm also going to give him some gray boots. Going to the darker tone, I'm going to add some shading and shadowing. I'm going to color in his belt buckle and back to the lighter shade to blend those in. I'm using the fair skin blend for his face ears and hands. After I filled in with the lighter tone, I'm going into the darker and add a little bit of shadow. I'm using the darkest tone of the pale pink blend, giving him some little cheeks and a little bit of red on the tip of his nose and his ears. I'm going to move along and use this exact same color combination on all of my gnomes. 
I'm going to use gray for the hair on the female gnome and also give her a little coral apron. Here are how my gnomes look after I finished coloring them. I'm going to move on to all the accessories. I'm using the same gray brown blend for the wheelbarrow. Add a little bit of shading and shadowing with the darker tone for the basket and some of the decorations on the eggs. I'm going to be using the coral blend. Add a little bit of shadow with the darker tone. I'm also coloring the flowers with the coral blend and again a little bit of dark in the center. I'm going back to the ice blue to finish off coloring in my eggs and I wanted the bunny to look like one of those yellow peep marshmallow candies. So I'm using light yellow blend for that. Using washi tape, I'm going to be taping in place all of the dies except for on this little gnome because he's going behind the door. I will need to cut the egg out twice and the flowers as well. Here are all my die cut images. And for this little gnome that goes behind the door, I've just trimmed around him so that he'll fit inside the door opening and then it's flush against the bottom of the tree. Going back to the light yellow marker, I'm going to fill in the background around the gnome just enough that it won't be stark white when you open the door and it'll match the little bit of yellow we're going to put behind the windows. And with that lightest shade of yellow, I'm going to go around with the darker and just add a little bit of definition. I don't need to go all the way to the top because you can't see the top of his hat in the door. I've turned my tree house over and I've taken a couple of small pieces of yellow cardstock and just trimmed them down and with some regular scotch tape, I'm gonna tape those in place. I'm gonna place my little gnome where I would like him to be behind the door, turn it over, and again with some regular scotch tape, I'm gonna tape that in place. I've also taped my eggs inside the wheelbarrow and I'm ready to go ahead and start putting everything together. I've grabbed a scratch piece of paper and a glue pen and I'm gonna start off by adding the pink frame onto the base of my card. So the frame is the same size as a standard size card base. So I'm just gonna line that up all the way around the border of my card front. I've flipped over the green piece and I'm going to apply tape runner and a little bit of glue pen just to make sure I get all the little areas laid down flat. And this piece is just going to line up right along the bottom edge of that pink frame on the back of the tree house. I've also applied some tape runner and in these little areas here, I'm going to apply the glue pen. And again, like a puzzle piece, that's going to fit right inside that green piece. I come right up to the top of the pink. I flipped over all those little accessory pieces for the tree house that I die cut earlier. Using the glue pen, I'm just gonna place all of these in place. This one goes around the door frame. This piece goes around the square window. This smaller arch goes over the top window. The window box goes down below. The little blue shutters go on either side. I've placed glue behind the flowers and I'm gonna slip them into the flower box. I'm gonna place glue inside each of those openings and inlay the little stones all the way down. I've placed foam tape on the back of my images and I'm going to place them in my scene. The little girl gnome goes down here. Add the little basket to her hand. I'm gonna place the little wheelbarrow up here. And the other gnome goes down here and he's holding the little marshmallow bunny. And when you open the door, here's our little gnome inside. And here is our finished card. Gnomes are really trendy right now, so I thought it would be really fun to create a cute little scene of them getting ready for Easter. I hope you have a wonderful time along the hop. Don't forget to leave likes, consider subscribing, and leave a comment down below to be entered for prizes. The next person in the hop is at the top of my description box down below. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.